made so many things to so many of us. And you can see the multitude of heads that are here today. And so for us today, we truly need really to take that part of heart that will be useful. This ceremony is not for the dead, it's actually for the living. She's play a role to join a race. And I can hear say she's drawn a beautiful race. Her husband is here. And I know that the wife has been a worthy partner to the king. The children are here. And I know they are mom. And they are an outstanding mother to all of them. The grandchildren are here. And I know they are going to raise the grand. To all of us who truly really, this is telling us it means something. Is it a smart? Is it an iconic head there? Is it a permanent low cut hair? Because it has simply city and smart as you may it. I think it really, really is for all of us to reflect in our individual lives and ask ourselves how will we remember when the time comes? And our right reverend has said that death is something that we all hope. And I'm right that to pray that God will grant us long life to make a good good to be mankind. But it's really about hope. It's really about believing that our nation are the very difficult roads. And it's not only peculiar to our nation. The entire world is going through difficult times. There are nations that cannot meet up with their death for God. There are countries that cannot meet up on a month on month basis. There are challenges everywhere in the world. We we'll see the effects of COVID-19 and we're still not out of it. We see Russia, Ukraine, all of them, and how it has affected our own life in India, in the UK, and in the Lagos, in Nigeria. And so we need to be grateful to God. We need to come together and let the things that unite us be the things that come to us. Let's stop all the division. And let's rebuild our nation and rebuild ourselves. And ask that while we are still alive, how will we remember? Like our sister. For me and for us as a government, we will continue to ensure that the greatest good is for the greatest good. We will use every fiber that we have to ensure that we can take the cost of driving the people that we meet. That we can live together and we can recreate a greater city, a greater state that all of us will truly be proud of. I think that ahead of us, elections, end of year, and also. Please, let us not be busy. Let us not divide ourselves. Let us come together in unity and believe and know that even with all the challenges that we have, God is able to see some of these problems. And that as a nation, as a state, as a people, will come out of it bigger, better, and bolder. Let's go out there and do good to humanity. Because that is what. Mrs. Kevin Nelson, the issue of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you will have a better day.